Hello YouTube and friends. Uh, I'm making a prediction on the Zhang Joyce fight. Uh, I hadn't really been making a lot of predictions here lately, but the uh, Crawford Spence fight, I look back on that and I should have been mouth yapping the whole time about that. And here's why. I called that thing right down the line. Uh, I think on one boxing show, uh, KO Boxing New News, I believe is the name of the channel, I mentioned it real briefly and said, hey, I don't want to talk much about that fight because uh, it garners a lot of hate from the other side of who you're predicting. But at that, in that one show, I think it was that show, uh, I alluded to it and I just said get ready for it because Crawford's going to manhandle Spence and turns out he did uh, not going to go into all the indicators that led me to believe that but I, I called it right uh, this Zane uh, Joyce fight easy call easy call uh, we are Joe Joyce fans here. Uh, first off, listen to my ramble, and I'm going to tell you how this fight's going to end up. Because I'm going, I believe now nobody's perfect, and I certainly am not, and I certainly miss call fights, as does everyone else. Uh, I'm going to tell you who I want to win, and I want Joe Joyce to win. Uh, Especially since after a lot of it's ideological. Uh, uh, I come from a long line of communist killers. Uh, we do not like communists. Uh, we are not going to like people that promote, aid, feel bad for, or whatever associated uh with communism we just won't do it we're, we're not going to do it with any ideological system that uh promotes the control of others and i'll go further crony capitalism uh if there was a fighter today and he were uh jolton bobby clinton uh uh, greasy Jimmy Biden uh, let me say slimy Jimmy Biden uh, uh, line Jeff Jeffy Bush you, I'm, I'm not going to be on any of them because they're crony capitalists and they thrive off of uh, the same thing the centralized folks in communism do, which is stealing, killing, and pillaging and robbing. Uh, one small group of people doing that to the masses, and I don't like that. And communism and crony capitalism does that. Uh, justful capitalism is the only system. The only system. Uh, that I'm aware of that doesn't do that. So, that aside, I'm never going to be pulling for Zane. Uh, here's why. Uh, he uh, stood at attention while the Communist Party military paraded all up and down China, and it was a good thing to him. Yet he lives fat and happy off the hog in New Jersey, uh, getting to reap the rewards of capitalism while his countrymen are back there suffering. There's another son of a bitch that does the same thing that I will never pull for either. Uh, and uh, that is uh, uh, the, the guy I'm, th I'm getting hung here with the names but uh, Fury calls him the little rabbit and I call him the little faker and 
That is the Joe. Who is the Ukrainian fighter? The Ukrainian fighter. The, he the, the heavyweight champion Ukrainian fighter. Usyk, okay. Uh, I got Spanish going on in my brain, so I thought you said Jose. You oh. said Usyk. Yeah. All right. See, this is what getting real old gets you. I'll never pull for Usyk. Well, why wouldn't you do that? Because he's the same type of SOB. Uh, countrymen over there fighting and dying, and he's living it up over here with uh, Hollywood liberals, and Zang's doing the same thing now. And no, I ain't pulling for these bastards. You can pull for who you want to pull for, but I got the right to pull for who I want to pull for. All right, all that ideology out the door. Uh, uh, here's what's going to happen in this fight. Uh, Joe Joyce is going to move forward some with a one-two, and he's repeatedly going to get jabbed to the injured eye, the, the, the eye accident eye. And uh, he's going to get beat quicker than he did before. Uh, there will be a stoppage in this fight, and it'll be stopped. Joe Joyce, they will stop it because Joe Joyce is getting beat badly. This fight may make it eight rounds. So I'm saying it'll, it'll be stopped in the eighth or stopped before. Uh, I don't think there'll be a knockout. Uh, I'll be shocked if there's a knockout. But that's, I mean, that's literally what's going to happen. And Joe Joyce does not know how to back up, and he cannot fight backing up if he did know how to back up. And he's just going to keep walking into uh, uh, Zile uh, Zhang's punches and he's just going to get beat to death like he did before uh, now who, again who do I hope wins I hope the 1 in 20 billion chance happens and I hope I'm meeting my words and I hope Joe Joyce wins uh, another uh, little bit of boxing news rumor has it that uh, before Christmas, the Saudis have put up an uh, unrefusable great deal to both the Rabbit and Tyson Fury. And it looks like <clears throat> probably the second or the third, the second week, I believe, of December, there may be a fight in Saudi Arabia with... Uh, Usyk and uh, Tyson Fury and I, everybody known the man that knows boxing should know how that's going to go uh, so I won't bore anybody with that here but uh, that that has come on uh, from one of the Tyson people to uh Teddy Atlas <clears throat> and it was stated in a vague way but it was stated in a way you know that was the fight they were talking about we should tell you all don't waste your money on the former MMA champion going against Tyson Fury because it is just an exhibition and now knowing that there's even the possibility of this unification bout for a one world heavyweight champion even that the possibilities there that this happened in December uh, there's not going to be uh, a very heavy hitting fight with I hope I pronounce this right Ngahu and uh, the heavyweight champion of the world Tyson Fury and make no mistake about it the heavyweight champ, there's only one, and he beat Tyson Fury. There's other folks with belts. Zhang's got one that they're going to fight. He's going to fight Joe Joyce.
four on uh, Saturday, the WBO belt, but there's only one champion, and it wasn't Joshua, and uh, it wasn't Wilder when he was holding the WBC belt. Uh, that direct lineal line, and it's been proven in other fights, uh, we, uh, the real champion was uh, Vladimir Klitschko, and it passed over to uh, Tyson Fury. Wilder just held the belt. Make no mistake about that. Now, we in the U.S., uh, uh, I believe Wilder's the number two guy, and we in the U.S., a lot of people, folks looked at Wilder at, Oh, he's the champion, but who did he fight? Um, the one real guy he fought, and he got he got handled. Uh, went to a draw the first fight, and he got his butt stopped the second two fights. Although I think Wilder is the second best fighter in the world. Another fight I'd like to see is. Uh, uh, Fury and uh, or Deontay Wilder and Joshua uh, and Wilder will just literally obliterate him. I, I don't know if I see that going past three rounds. Uh, but make no mistakes about it. Uh, the Joyce is going to get manhandled. It'll be stopped either in the eighth round or before the eighth round. Uh, Joyce is just going to literally be manhandled practically the whole time. I believe Joyce will have a couple of good spots in the fight. Uh, probably, and I'm looking maybe the first and third and fourth round. There may be something going on. But this fantasy land of... Uh, if I hadn't had the accident with my eye, there was no, first off, there was no accident with the eye. Uh, your eye was crushed or whatever happened to it. And uh, from getting your face punched from the punches that he kept walking into. And uh, he's going to do it again, folks. It's going to happen again. Uh, this is going to be a repeat. Uh, I know that somebody on Frank Warren's team, uh, and the only reason I'm talking about this because I don't like talking about a lot of boxing news, but uh, uh, we just try to concentrate on doing our things and being fans of boxing. But I figured I'd put a call, a prediction out on this fight Saturday. We talk about a couple of other things. Uh, somebody on Warren's uh, promotion team was kept referring to Joe Joyce that he had a accident with his eye and that was no accident and uh, we like Frank Warren uh, shucks you guys can go look on Joe's Facebook uh, a newer professional uh, fighter and he's a flyweight or a bantamweight that uh, fights in Frank Warren's uh, promotion uh, had conversed back and forth with Joe on Facebook, now open Facebook. And uh, somehow or another, this guy, he's just starting his career out. He's like 3-0. Uh, he had put a comment down and he was like, Mr. and then Frank Warren, he said, look, I'm starting to get some fans. I look at this guy here. Uh, he's from the U.S., meaning Joe. And uh, Frank Warren replied down there to him, hey, that's a good fan to have. Keep an eye on this kid. And so we like Frank Warren. I mean, we really do uh, up in here. 
And anytime anybody says something good and positive about us, it's gonna, their likability is just going to hit the roof with us. We appreciate it. And you should too, you know. Uh, when, when folks are having uh, positivity, they're portray- portraying positivity to you uh, and towards you uh, for the work that you do. So anyway, long rambling message again. But you can take it to the bank come Saturday. Uh, I believe it, the fight will possibly be in the afternoon or, or very late afternoon uh, in the U.S., our, our Eastern Standard Time. Although we're in Columbia, we are on Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so you can take it to the bank. This, this fight's going to uh, it'll make it up up to and in the eighth round but I think it's going to be a stoppage in the eighth round at the latest and anywhere before at the soonest uh, uh, so we just have to wait and see on that I think it'll be a good fight and I'm excited to see it and I hope this in this case I'm wrong but that's truly what I believe is going to happen in this case I don't think it's going to go down to a decision and if it were to go down to a decision, uh, Zang's going to win this. The, the, the fantasy of, again, going in and standing there and the, the illusion and fantasy that uh, uh, Joyce team people and fans have been saying, oh, if the fight would have went on, Joyce would have got it. Uh <laughs> it reminds me of Tex Cobb telling Larry Holmes at a at a luncheon, had I had eighty five more rounds, I would have beat you. And uh, that's the same kind of foolishness going on here. Uh, it could have went into the late rounds and Joyce would have just got hurt more. Uh, there wouldn't have nothing happened. That Zang wasn't tiring out uh, like it's going on in the fanatical heads of some folks but uh, mark my words Joyce is going to lose this uh, and that's just what's going to happen and we'll see you folks later